I'm Mike Amusio, and very soon I'll be racing in NASA's Spec Miata field. Despite proclamations that you have the ability of winning races, it's become clear I'll need every advantage possible if I want to be competitive. I ran a 140.5, and uh, like the winner ran right about a 138. It might have been like a 137.9. I mean, two seconds still matters. That, that's a, it, this doesn't sound like a lot, but it kind of is. So uh, it's, it's a gap I need to really, really, really close. To help close the current two to three second per lap gap between me and the Spec Miata front runners, we turn to technology, specifically the AQ1 data logger from AEM. We first connected with AEM at our inaugural track day with NASA at Willow Springs Raceway in beautiful Roseman, California, and they seemed confident that the AQ1 could help yield faster lap times, which leads us to here, AEM's facilities in Hawthorne, California. We are installing an AQ1 data logger. It tells you what your car is doing, but it also tells you what the driver is doing. With the AQ1, uh, the data you will be getting back at the end of each session you'll be able to see uh, shift points on the track, basically where the RPM will be changing, and those will be pretty obvious. You'll be able to see throttle position at any given point on the track, so you can tell if you're carrying you know, more speed, more throttle, you'll be able to see brake. So from this point, you'll have all the driving components, all the driving input, so you can start trimming down lap time and you can figure out whether you're braking too late or braking too soon, whether you're uh, coming on throttle too fast, coming out of a turn. I mean, all of the things that you know are, are going to allow you to pick up those tenths here and there that, that over a cumulative amount of time are going to um, help you get around the track faster. And if you do that, you're gonna win some races. What we got going on here is uh, we have our patch harness connecting the ECU uh, with the main wiring harness to pick up vehicle speed, coolant, temp, air temp, uh, and tachometer. We've also fitted a uh, wideband O2 sensor gauge and uh, running that through the trans tunnel. And what we're trying to do here with the, with the Miata is to uh, give you some useful information while you're at the track by adding the, the GPS sensor, for instance, uh, we'll have, be able to do track mapping and, um, you know, in the, in the data, as well as uh, get vehicle speed off of there as well. The AQ-1 is going to be powered by ignition switch, and then you'll have the ability to start and stop the log by the switch we installed over on the other side. Most entry-level loggers from uh, data logging companies are going to start around $1,500 for the logger. For about $640, you can get into our AQ1 data logger, and it's going to uh, data log eight different channels, uh, zero to five volt or frequency based, as well as three switch digitals. Uh, it has an internal built-in accelerometer for Gs and uh, a whole bunch of other nifty things that you can add into it, like GPS. Smart racers know that the best performance gains come from the driver. With the ability to track and coldly judge my driving in nuanced digital detail, AEM's AQ1 looks to be an invaluable tool for improving lap times. Of course, data and analysis is useless if I don't do my job and apply what we learn. Luckily, we're diving into the deep end of the Spec Miata pool, so we'll have lots of data to learn from in the very near future.